Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to make some ham and cheese sliders and these turned out so good. So first of all, we're going to start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees. I've already got my ham and cheese already cut up. And to a bowl, we're going to add a teaspoon of garlic powder along with a fourth a teaspoon of pepper and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And we're also going to add a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And we're also going to add a fourth of a cup of melted butter. So we're just going to mix that together really well. Make sure you get all the clumps out. Okay, we're just going to let that sit there. Next, we are going to cut our sweet Hawaiian rolls. And we're going to cut them in half. And this was really tough. My knife did not want to cut through that bread. But I finally got it. And next, we are going to layer on our ham. And you don't have to cut it if you don't want, but I just did. So we're just going to layer that all over our bread. I think I used three or four pieces, but add as much as you want. And then next we are going to layer our cheese on. And I'm using American cheese. You don't have to use American. You can use Swiss or pepper jack or whatever kind you like the best. Just layer that all over your ham. Okay, and after you get your ham and your cheese layered on, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the top of the bread. We're going to add the top of the bread back on. And we are going to get our mixture of butter and salt and pepper, and we're going to pour that over top of the bread. But I recommend brushing it on because there was clumps of pepper that were kind of overpowering. So I think if you brush it on, it would distribute all of that evenly. So after that, we are going to place it in our oven. For about seven or eight minutes, give or take. And we're going to take them back out. These turned out so good. And you can see me cutting with a knife, but I actually ended up using the pizza cutter to cut these, and it was so much easier. But these turned out really good. These would be perfect for a baby shower or a cookout or any kind of party. And they are even better the next day. I really recommend this to you guys. But let us know in the comments below what kind of videos you guys would like to see. And make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. We really enjoy recipe videos, and if you want to see a recipe from us, just let us know, and we will try our best. Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate it.